Yes people, what's going on and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today I've got the most broken can build in pro clubs. Like, it's just, it's unreal. You'll see in the clips in the end, but yeah, you need to use this build. So without further ado, let's get into it. Right, to start off with, you'd obviously want your pros to calm. Height 5, 4, and I'd say the weight anywhere between 99 to 119. And obviously the foot's just whatever you prefer. Right people, the physical can vary whether you play any like I do, or whether you just like obviously just using your pro if you do use your pro I'd, I'd probably put second wind on it does come in handy in uh, certain games in certain situations but for the fact that I play any I just put the one on for the dribbling I literally put every dribbling stat on just shoots the way I play really I just like to use all the skills just helps you get out with sticky situations and I also think it creates a lot of chances as well because you're just unpredictable but you don't have to put all these on you can like I said, if you've got second wind on, you won't be able to have all these on, so it'd be best taking a few off. Maybe the ones that affect, like, for this, for instance, the ones that affect your agility or your balance. They, they are the main stats in there. But yeah, you could easily take them off and put second wind on. For the passing, you're going to have the hole with the left side on. And the swerve pass is key, as when you do a double tap through ball or when you do a power through ball. It just helps put it into your striker's path more easily and obviously helps them get through on goal, it just makes just makes life easier for them really. For the right side you're just going to put these on. To be honest with the passing, apart from the swerve pass say, I don't really think it makes a difference. I don't know, I think just I think the passing is just broken in pro clubs in my opinion. But yeah, I'll let you decide that for yourself. Just put these on, try it and see how you get on. Right, for the shooting, it, it varies because on this one, I am not going to have 5 star weak foot on. Some people swear by it. I just think personally, it is not you like you don't need it that much as people think you need it. Because I, I've I've played with this build many a times and I still scored on both feet, and it's not really an issue. But yeah, you can put it on if you want. Just depends on how you play and whether you want it on or not. But honestly, I don't think it makes a difference. But yeah, you can just you can decide that. Same with the finesse shots. See, eh? I still bang in many a finesse shots with this build. It trust me, it's it. You don't, you don't even need this on. Anyone who plays pro clubs now, it's just three bars of power, power shot, whether that's near post, far post, or whatever. The finesse shots just look good from like long range, but in the harder games, you're not even going to use it anyway. So I'd say leave finesse shot, but I just leave that down to use again. Finally, just throw the rest on your pace, whatever skill points you've got left. Oh no, messed up here. Oh, no, what's the shooting? Right, there we go. Yeah, just throw the rest on your pace. As a cam, you don't really need the pace anyway. Obviously, the more games you play, the higher the overall. With this build, if you've played over, I don't know, maybe, let's check. Maybe if you've played over six or 700 games, I think you'll be touching a 93 to 94 rated cam, as this is the highest you can get it. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and comment what video you'd like to see next. Peace, people. So they want to make this move, what? Kids. Oh my god, that No. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs>